Why do Conrad Health Agency celebrate Women History Month? We celebrate the countless women who have fought tirelessly and courageously for the equal justice and opportunity in our nation for all Americans. We also affirm our commitment to advancing rights and opportunity for women and girls in the United States. I expect to plead not for the slave only, but for the suffering humanity everywhere. Lucy Stone. Lucy Stone was an early advocate of anti-slavery and women's rights. She was born in Massachusetts. After she graduated from Oberlin College in 1847, she began to lecturing for the anti-slavery movement as a paid agent for the American Anti-Slavery Society. She said in 1847, I expect to plead not for the slave only, but for the suffering humanity everywhere. Especially do I mean to labor for the elevation of my sex. After graduating from Oberlin College in Ohio in 1847, she became a lecturer for the Massachusetts Anti-Slavery Society, which soon granted her permission to devote part of each week to speaking on her own for women's rights. She helped organize the first truly national women's rights convention in 1850 and was instrumental in organizing several other women's rights conventions as well. In 1855, when she married Henry B. Blackwell in Ohio, abolitionist and brother Elizabeth Emily Blackwell, she retained her own name as a protest against the unequal laws applicable to married women and became known as Miss Stone. During the Civil War, Stone supported the Women National League founded by Elizabeth Cody Staten and Susan B. Anthony. In 1866, she helped found the American Equal Rights Association. In 1867, she helped organize what was elected president of the New Jersey Women's Suffrage Association. After the Civil War, Lucy Stone, Joan, Frederick Douglass, and others who supported the 15th Amendment as a partial gain as they continued to work for women's rights. The passage of the 15th Amendment outraged most women's rights leaders because the word male was included for the first time in the Constitution. This debate divided the women's rights movement. By 1869, Elizabeth Cody Staten and Susan B. Anthony and others formed at the National Women's Suffrage Association and focused their efforts on a federal women's suffrage amendment. Lucy Stone and Julia Ward Howie led others to form the American Women's Suffrage Association, which choose to focus on state suffrage amendments. www.camaraderiehealthagency.com Catch our Women History Series on YouTube and Facebook.